Hi, this is for Stillwater. This is another great, great building video in the Great Building series, and this is going to be the Cape Canaveral, also known as the CC. Uh, this is a postmodern era building, and personally one of my favorites. I never realized how much I love this building until I really started working with it and realized what an awesome building it is and how much I love it. Uh, thus, mine sitting here in this example at level 43, and if I could take this to level 100 today, I would do it, and I would explain why. So. Cape Canaveral, this is what it looks like on its little thumbnail card thing, or great building card, or great building info sheet, whatever you want to call this. Um, you see it's got a rocket sitting on the launch pad at Canaveral, uh, Cape Canaveral uh, down in Florida, United States, and uh, that's where we launch uh, a lot of the space, um, space stuff, um, satellites, um, I think all the moon stuff launched out of there, I think back in the whenever space shuttle used to launch out of there all types of stuff but either way cape, cape, cape canaveral so um let's see it offers one thing and one thing only but it's pretty good at it it offers coin i mean uh, fps geez coins fps <laughs> produce coins i wouldn't be you know touting it <laughs> so here it is over on the forge of empires wiki this is uh forge of empires .com slash wiki um, and this is uh, one of my favorite sites, as I mentioned in every one of my videos. And I'll go ahead and put a link to this down below. And uh, I'll put a link to my playlist for the different types of videos as well. So Cape Canaveral, it is a postmodern era, like I just mentioned. Construction costs are 200, 350, 200, 600, and 400. The 600 are semiconductors, appropriately enough. Uh, let's see, it's a 4 by 5 so pretty small footprint. So it's 4 wide by 5 long, or however you want to look at that. So it doesn't take up too much real estate, and uh, yeah, a, a road's required, of course. Imagine that. And then its sole purpose is to produce forge points. So it grinds forge points. So at level 1, you get 2. At level 2, you get 2. At level 3, you get 3, and so on. But once you get up to level 10... So you see there's some little incremental jumps at a level, but they're still pretty cheap to get up there um, to, the, to the lower sing or higher single digits. But once you get above that, every level gives an FP. So, um, and like I said, if I can take, take mine to level 100, I would do it. Um, I'm currently at level 43 right now, so I'm getting 43 FPs per day for this building. I'm running this through my guilds 1-9, and... Uh, it worked out great because I don't have to contribute anything for the first two, the first two spots in the one nine thread, and then all in. I mean the the cost to level this building in a one nine thread once you get uh, up above twenty or thirty is, is really really cheap. So and it just thing just pumps out FPs every day. Love it, absolutely love it. So as I mentioned, I'm sitting here right now at a level forty three. Um, so yep. So there it is. Uh, great, great building. Uh, definitely worth building. I see. And the neat thing I noticed that once you start working it through some of the FP threads, um, and there's some other people doing the same thing that are especially in similar levels and you're participating, it just kind of, those those uh, blueprints just pile on. And then you can kind of keep level one lockstep with some of your guildies. So your guildmates. So cool. That's it. Cape Canaveral, one of my favorites. And uh, let me know what you think. Is it worth it? Um, it only gives you one thing, but it's really good at what it gives. So thanks for watching. Uh, questions, comments, suggestions, please leave them below. Subscribe if you haven't, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I appreciate it. This is fun. Take care. Bye.